Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about security on the iPhone in iOS 13. And yes, there's a new studio setup as you can see here. I'll have more details about the new desk, about the new setup towards the end of the month here in July. I have a lot of great new changes coming to the channel in regards to the studio. So I'll be sharing those with you guys at a later time. But back to the video. Today I want to talk about a security issue within iOS 13. Now the great thing is iOS 13 is currently sitting in beta 3. So now is the time for people to start submitting these types of security flaws and bugs to Apple, which I've already done and I'll cover that here towards the end of the video. But what I'm going to share with you guys today is a bug within iOS that I've been reading about in Reddit and I wanted to test myself to see if it worked, but it allows you to gain access to all of the emails and passwords and username and passwords for all of your applications and websites. Yes. Now you don't need face ID or touch ID authentication and the iPhone will allow you to see all this information. Now, of course, this is a major flaw within the OS, iOS 13 developer as well as public beta. So it's important for you guys to be aware about it while Apple is already working on a fix. As I mentioned, I've already submitted the bug and the issue. Let me go ahead and reproduce this issue for you guys and show you what I mean. So you wanna head on over to settings and if you ever used the autofill option within iOS, you know exactly what this means. Password and accounts. The autofill tab here, if we go into the website here, let's go to apple.com here quickly and let me show you how this works. So here I am, apple.com. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out so I can log back in here quickly. So let's go ahead and log back in. Now, it uses Face ID, as you can see here, to authenticate. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. So this is autofill. It automatically autofills your credentials, rather as an email, a password, a username for your applications and for websites. Now, that is saved under the Passwords and Accounts tab in iOS 13 as well as iOS 12. And if we tap into this categories here and we try to access, it will tell us that we need Face ID. Now, I'm behind the camera at the moment, so it's not uh, actually allowing me to have access to this information. I could click try again here and it won't allow me as you see there, it doesn't have face ID authentication. This also works on touch ID devices as well. Now you can actually bypass this by tapping on this particular portion of the OS repeatedly and canceling the face ID authentication prompt there. Just canceling it and continue to tap on the password and website. Boom, there we are, we're inside. It's asking us for the passcode, we don't have it. We got in. Now this will allow us to actually change these passwords as well as look at these passwords and share them with other devices, airdrop these to other devices. So this is a very big issue. Although you do have to have access to an unlocked device in order to gain access to all of this information. Again, this is all of your emails, all of your passwords for all your applications and websites that you save using Face ID and Touch ID on your iOS device. Now this is a more of an issue on iPad, I believe, because iPads we leave around, laying around in the house, and when we go to share a device, for the most part we share iPads in the house, right? So I'm gonna go ahead here and log in to this iPad here and show you that this also works on the iPad. So we're gonna go here, let's go to the actual password right there, password and accounts, and I'm gonna go ahead and start clicking away right there on their website and password. It's gonna ask me for face ID. We're gonna cancel and we're gonna click clicking here. And we're gonna do that. I'm gonna click, boom, there we are. We're inside and that is how this works. Now, uh, it is a bit unfortunate that this is possible actually in beta because a lot of people, as I mentioned, are using iOS 13 developer and public beta and it does affect both devices as well as I mentioned face ID and touch ID devices. But the great thing is I've already submitted the bug to Apple. Apple should be fixing this here shortly in the next several weeks or several days. Let's go here to the feedback application and let me show you here is the actual uh, submission. Let's go here. There it is. Gain access. Right there it is to username and passwords without face ID or touch ID authentication on the iPhone. I just submitted it. It's currently open. Apple should be addressing this here shortly. If you have any issues, you can always refer over to the feedback application and submit your issues yourself. So if you have a problem, something that you want Apple to fix, that is how you do it. I thought I'd share this security flaw within iOS 13. Hopefully Apple will fix this on beta 4. And of course, this will definitely be fixed before the official release of iOS 13. I just thought I share this one with you guys. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.